Hey everyone, it's me, Cynthia. I wanna thank you for stopping by my channel today, Living With MS in Texas. I know it's been a while. We haven't talked or I haven't posted a video, I think since early in March when the pandemic was just getting started or the shutdown here in Texas was just being instituted. And um, I once again am back to see how you guys are coping with the pandemic and the isolation. I don't know about you, but it has been really, really tough for me. The isolation has been tough. The, um, the not being able to go out and socialize. I'm a bit of a, a social butterfly. So I know that a lot of my friends have been coping by eating a little bit too much. And a lot of people are talking about this COVID-19 and that they've actually put on 19 pounds in the past five months. And let me tell you, that is not me. I, I love to eat and I had been lounging around and watching a lot of, um, watching a lot of cooking shows and testing some recipes out and then realize, okay, not that I had gained a whole lot of weight, but but just realize like that is not how I want to deal with being shut in. Like the isolation is tough and the depression is, is, is hard to deal with, particularly because I don't take medication for depression. So battling a chronic disease, as you guys know, we, we battle with depression as, as well, most of us. So it, it was kind of tough. I was probably, I'm sure, drinking a little bit more than I needed to. Happy hour was coming earlier and earlier in the day. But I just, you know, I figured that enough was enough. So I hadn't been posted videos because I'm really just sick of social media and all the stuff that's going on on social media, the conspiracy theories, the fighting that's going on with people, just all the madness. I, it, it hurts my heart to see people who are hungry and to see people who are out of their jobs. And then with all the protests that have been going on, the Black Lives Matter, the protesting George Floyd, just all the different things that are going on was just kind of depressing and makes you want to shut down. Now, so a couple of things that I've been doing that's been helpful for me, I have actually been participating in an online, uh, not an online, but a virtual or a Zoom video Bible study um, with my sister-in-law actually uh, is teaching. So I'm really, really enjoying that. I'm trying to get in touch with me, myself, and I'm also trying to draw closer to God because that's important to me. I don't know, in times like these, we, for me anyway, it's just, it's a little more comforting being able to think about the promises of what's to come as opposed to the here and now. And then I also have tried to limit my alcohol intake that some days better than others because I love my wine, but I also have decided to up my exercise game and do a little bit more and a little more regimented in my routines and uh, discipline in going, not just hit or miss or while I'm sitting around. I still do, while I'm sitting around just watching TV or whatever, I like to work with a resistance band that I can just sit around and work different parts of my body, which I'm staying toned. I'm not getting a real rigorous exercise, of course, but for me, it's helping me uh, feel like I'm doing something anyway. Um, and I feel like I am, you know, maintaining, I'm maintaining weight and I'm maintaining tone. And then I happen to have a Pilates chair. And let me just put it out here that I don't, I'm not endorsing anything because I'm being paid uh, to endorse anything. I just diff have tried different things. My daughter, I may have mentioned this before, is a fitness instructor and she does Tabata and has always wanted me to do Tabata, I've done yoga, something with more uh, cardio, but for me, that's, I don't want anything that's uh, too intense in terms of cardio because then it throws me off balance, I overheat, and then I'm sleeping for two or three days. So I found the uh, Yoga Burn, which is yoga, and it's DVDs, I'm old school, I got DVDs, 
You can find stuff on your uh, TV, on YouTube as well. But for the yoga burn, it's just yoga. And then she institutes, Zoe, I don't remember Zoe's last name, but she institutes a resistance band that just kind of ups it. So you're getting their different things that you can do to tone different parts of your body. And when there's this resistance on the bands, then it's helpful in shaping your arms, giving you some lean muscle without bulking. So I swear by the resistance too, because you can be laying around watching TV or in your bed, and decide to work your, your, your thighs, your legs, your, you know, different parts of your body and get that resistance. That's really good. I also have been a fan of Pilates for a very long time. I had a friend who had this Pilates chair in her attic, I think. She'd order it from QVC. I think I've had this thing about maybe, you know, eight years, seven, eight years now. She wasn't using it, never used it. I got it from her brand spanking new and I was able to keep it. And let me tell you, it's, it's another something that you can just be sitting around. It's in my little living room area and I can sit here and you can get a total body workout but I can just sit here in this chair, tight abs, work my legs, different things. It came with DVDs, different things that I can do to tone and firm my whole body. But the latest craze for me and what I'm really excited about is bar fitness. And for those of you who may not know what bar fitness is, bar fitness is what the dancers and ballerinas do. So they're getting those long lean muscles and not bulking and i don't want to say quick results but if you do it you will get the results that you want i had a birthday recently and asked my kids to get me a bar so that i could do zoom classes from home i do actually go in studio small classes social distancing some people have their mask on some don't but there are only maybe like four or five of us in a huge room so we can you know get away with not having the mask on the instructor instructor wears her mask but it's like 50 minute workout when i first started doing it i found some stuff on youtube half hour you know routines i was like oh man this stuff is easy but i i kept it up and i could see that things were working so when i found a studio that i could actually go in it's like 50 minutes oh my god it's so intense, you don't think that, I mean, it's just amazing. You get cardio if you want, there are different forms of it. There's pure bar, there's classic, there's cardio. You get a total body workout. So, because I don't wanna have an excuse not to do it for my birthday, I asked my kids to get me a bar. And so this is called Booty Kicker. And again, I'm not endorsing anything and getting paid for anything, but it's a bar that's the proper height that you would use if you went into the studio. And so now I can at home get my routines in. I have no excuse, you know, first I was, had the excuse that, oh, the sofa's too low or there's not enough support. That thing was less than a hundred bucks and that was awesome for me. And I have been consistently doing, going in to the studio for two class uh, two classes a week and doing another one at home and then i always get to walk my dogs or when i'm laying around i just use my trusty um my yoga um yoga burn resistance band or i'll do a routine you know from find something on youtube or whatever so that's what i'm doing to try to maintain my sanity you know ex when we exercise we can release those endorphins that take us to a happy place. So it's a really good thing to find some type of fitness. Uh, that's what I'm doing anyway. So I'd be interested in knowing what you guys are doing to maintain your weight and your sanity during this whole COVID-19 pandemic. My heart goes out to those who are suffering with it. I do actually know some people who have have gotten it. One has gotten over, one is still battling. Um, my heart goes out to people who've lost their jobs. Um, for those who who are hungry, who are, there's gonna be a housing crisis here soon. And 
I'm, I'm really hoping that our government is able to come together, I'm not trying to be political or anything on one side or another, but just help people who are in need because we, we should be really in this together. We keep hearing all that, but it doesn't seem like um, the powers that be in Washington and at state and local levels are maybe better, but the, the federal government, um, Congress people, man, there's a lot of people that need to get fired and I'm gonna just leave it at that. So with that, I wanna thank you again for stopping by. I'm not having wine just yet because I want to get a, get a workout in before happy hour arrives. So it's another birthday gift that I got and it was just my, um, my water. So I'm trying to remember that I need to drink this throughout the day. I'm, I'm way behind today, so I gotta get started. <laughs> I think I'll do my routine first and then try to chug it down, but that's another thing that just will help us, help our bodies um, be where they need to be and, and help our immune systems to exercise, keep your mind right, and um, be safe out there, you guys. Once again, thanks for stopping by. I will see you again soon.